face change in Meiji Shou. I was told that if you see the face change in Shou in the first performance, we will bring you the good luck and fortune for the rest of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, Joshua. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to acknowledge the tradition of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people on whose land we are gathered here today. Can I acknowledge Melody Chen, co-host, and the life honorary president of Arts and Multiculture. Can I acknowledge Dan Ali, the co-host, the president of War Arts and Multicultural Incorporation. Vice Councillor Stephen Wan, representing the Lord Mayor of Brisbane City Council, where Mr. Anthony Shorten, state member for Alchester. Mr. Councillor Tim Marks, Councillor for Carrie Waterwall. OAN, Serena Prasad, OAN, Dr. Mustafa Ali, OAN, and Ginny Mock, OAN. So, I know it's a representative from organizations like Sunnybank RSL, South Branch, the Australian or Chinese Heritage War Memorial Committee of the Sunnybank RSL, South Branch, and I know it's Food and Life International Association of Queensland, also Australian Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce, Queensland, Taiwan French Association of Queensland, Knowledge Lights Club, Brisbane Chinese, and the Nini Women Association of Queensland are also acknowledged Queensland Police Services. <laughs> for coming to celebrate Harmony Day with us. World Art and Multicultural Incorporation is committed to promoting art and multicultural. I am very grateful that the Australian government encourages community groups like us to celebrate Harmony and also it's a great celebration of the Harmony Day. And also today in the World Art and Multicultural Association, we are preparing so much beautiful different cultural background of the performance. I hope you enjoy it tonight. And uh, let's celebrate Harmony Day. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, may I start by acknowledging the traditional custodian of the land of which we gather and pay my respect to the elders of past and present. And Harmony Day is a significant event for Australia. And uh, it is also in line with Council's vision for an, an inclusive and accessible city that we live in. The residents of Brisbane coming from 208 countries, speaking uh, 211 languages, they believe in 110 different religions. Brisbane City Council is proud to support uh, celebrations like Harmony Day uh, to make sure that we all live in an inclusive environment. And I, I would like to draw some of the experiences and maybe uh, an interesting example of how um, people can live in uh, harmony by, uh, through understand, mutual understanding and also mutual respect. I want well, hello, and it uh, gives me great pleasure to represent the Minister today. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we meet today and pay my respects to Elders past and present. I also acknowledge the significant and lasting cultural and social benefits that people from different cultural backgrounds have brought to our great state. Now, I'm delighted to be here today at McGregor State Primary School representing the Honourable Glenn Elms MP, Minister for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander and Multicultural Affairs, and Minister Assisting the Premier. The Minister extends his apologies and would like me to pass on his best wishes and congratulations to everyone who has come here today to celebrate Harmony Day. The continuing message of Harmony Day is everyone belongs. It's about community participation, inclusiveness, respect, and a sense of belonging for everyone. 
It's a day for all of us to celebrate Australia's diversity. It's a day of cultural respect for everyone who calls Australia home. From the traditional owners of this land to those who have come from other countries around the world. Gentlemen, could I also acknowledge the traditional owners and thank them for their continuing stewardship. Uh, could I, like uh, the uh, Stephen Huang, acknowledge all the distinguished guests, uh, elected uh, community leaders. I normally focus on the people in my electorate, but since it's Harmony Day, I'll say hello to everybody. Uh, I would, uh, Freya, because political speeches are keeping us from the artists, I would like to acknowledge Joshua and realise that today is all about performances and politicians are keeping you from these great performances. Obviously not many politicians can combine the arts and um, their political life, unless they write a book, my book's available if anyone um, is uh, trying to buy a good, good birthday gift. Uh, but today is about Harmony Day and um, I, I can see it outside. My son is out there playing with a, a friend that he just met out on the tree and I thought, well, that symbolises Harmony Day more than any uh, speech that I could put together. Uh, this community is such an honour to represent this community. For all those that have come across the sea, uh, I see so many hard-working, dedicated, uh, proud-to-be Australian citizens that it's uh, a real honour to be a representative down in federal parliament. Uh, uh, and to see Joshua's uh, act today, to see how he has changed from a, magi a magician to a... Very much, Lewis. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute pleasure to be here today at the, the World Arts and Multicultural uh, Harmony Day event. Uh, I, as Lewis just said, I uh, was uh, with uh, the Lion Tube of the Year competition that was currently, uh, or that was underway. And it was interesting, actually, if I can actually go on one of the subjects that they spoke about there. And one of the impromptu questions that they asked our young students, our seniors, who were standing for the Lions Youth of the Year was, what does it mean to be Australian? And it's interesting because Harmony Day is very much about those sorts of things. And it's very much about uh, what uh, our uh, coming together from all of our backgrounds, all being able to contribute and work towards uh, a happy and healthier uh, community and to be able to do those sorts of things and it's great to have events like this that's put on by the World Arts and Multicultural and uh, I did hear Graham's speech and it is one of those things that we don't want politicians acting up the stage and when we've got such wonderful performances uh, I won't do any dancing for you. Much Lewis, I think I've seen you more today than I've seen my own family. Um, ladies and gentlemen, can I firstly uh, join with the other speakers in acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we met today, um, particularly acknowledging uh, President Melody Chen, Life President Melody Chen uh, and President uh, Dana Yu, uh, distinguished community leaders, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very special day in Australia, being Harmony Day. And the, you can see that the, uh, the, I guess the motto for Harmony Day is um, celebrating Australia's diversity. And I think there's no better place than to see the diversity of Australia than in our local schools. And when I go to my local schools within the Algester electorate, as I walk around and I look at the children, uh, particularly in the primary schools, I see a multitude of different faces. Chinese, Taiwanese, Japanese, Korean, Indian, Malay, um, Sudanese, um, Canadian. And I think that's what Harmony Day is all about. I just want to say, echo the comments that have already been made. Welcome to today. Today's going to be a huge, enormous, wonderful success with so many performances. There's lots of special people here who have been all been acknowledged, but one person who has was my husband. I know I'm embarrassing him enormously, but there you go. That's what comes, happens when you come to an event with me for once. So um, I just want to say thank you, and I know we're looking forward to a great day. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lewis, for uh, allowing me to speak uh, this afternoon. I've been to a number of these uh, festivities, and uh, they're always very interesting. You know, I'm from a neighbouring ward, but I have a great deal of interest in what goes on uh, here. Uh, my acknowledgements were done by Freya, which I don't think I could top, so I'll just uh, write it on those. The, the main point I want to make today is we are talking about art and performances. Now, art tends to transcend uh, political, 
and uh, geographic uh, boundaries and it also expands the minds of those people who are viewing artistic impressions that are not common to their own country. And that's one of the thrills I get whenever I come to one of these functions. I see these performances that I wouldn't normally see and it makes me feel a fuller person and makes me feel very grateful that I live in a country where this expression can take place. Um, I will, although uh, Councillor Huang is representing the Lord Mayor, Graham Quirk, I will take back to uh, the, the Lord Mayor a very strong and positive message of what's going on here today and we hope that it continues for many years to come. Thank you. It is a great pleasure to be here with all of you to celebrate the 2014 Harmony Day. First of all, I would like to express our appreciation to the World Arts and Multiculture uh, Incorporated for hosting this event so that we can have a happy gathering and enjoy fantastic performances uh, in this Saturday afternoon. For years, their efforts and achievements in promoting arts and multiculture are impressive and praiseworthy. Uh, Harmony Day activities provide wonderful opportunities for people to reach out, uh, understand their differences, and celebrate their fabulous diversity.